Good morning. It's 5 a.m. Mr. Scrum, but it's not 5 a.m. It's 6.33. I had a 2.30 meeting in the morning, so I kind of overslept. Sorry about that. Anyway, we're going to try to whiteboard thing. see how this works. Let's see if this works out okay. Um, I had some comments back from people saying about doing some graphics or drawing. So we'll give it a try in this episode. I'm going to keep this episode short and brief. We're just probably going to talk about one episode. Hope you're liking and subscribing and telling your friends and sharing it on the different social media. Feel free and uh, let's get going. So today I just wanted to talk about, um, I'm just going to do retrospective, my favorite little one. And how easy it is to do a retrospective, right? Everybody says retrospective is so hard. Why do we do it? It takes too much time. And you could do a retrospective in five minutes if you really had to. But it's always good to do it and talk about what happened during the week. So one of my favorite little retrospectives I do is I do the sailboat retrospective, where you talk about, you know, every retrospective is real simple. It's what went well, what didn't go so well, um, risks, and I call acceleration factors. I, I, I use, you can always change them up if you want, but this one will do one. There'll be different shows on different retrospectives. So what I like to do is like, you know, I do this four quadrant, right? So you can see that I do four quadrants. I do the line. This will work better at night, right? And I draw my little boat shell in the middle. So I got my cross and a little boat shell. I draw a big sail over here. And I draw a little sail here. And then I do my little anchor, right? My, my daughter always laughs about my um my my design, and I draw some rocks over here, right? And then I put a little I put a, a happy face here, and this is the good. This is the acceleration area. Can you see the acceleration? Yeah, acceleration. Maybe I bought a too big one. This is a sample. And this this is the risks. Because we know. Um, and we'll do another thing. I can do another one too. About how. Um, we'll do that today. We'll do two. We'll do two. So this is a, a retro. Right. A sailboat. And this is my little octopus buddy. Got one leg. Two legs. Three legs. Four legs. Five legs. Six legs. Seven legs, eight legs, and a little smiley. And these are the slowest down. All right, so you got my little octopus. Eh, let me make him bigger. Oh, there's my octopus. Looks like a spider, right? Yeah, yeah. So I got the stuff that went well, the things that accelerate, slowest down at risk. And so here's an example. Five, I mean, less than five minutes. What went well? Uh, maybe we had uh, on-time stand-ups. Um, most of the stories were tested. Stories all tested. The Philly pretzels. Philly pretzels were awesome. You should do more of that, right? More Philly pretzels. Put a little star there. So the team does like a little brainstorm. And you go around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What slowed us down maybe? Um, I'm just going to say. Server went down. Uh, maybe there was a dependency. We forgot to call somebody to tell them we're going to need their software before the sprint started. And no one's perfect, right? So this happened. I uh, forgot to call. Forgot to call. And you make a couple things that just kind of slow it down. Risks are something kind of like a PMP, project management kind of thing. What risks do you see coming down in the future? And and this comes from the dev team and, and not like that. So it might be like... Um, Risk are we're going to hire somebody. Maybe we're going to hire somebody. And 
the person and we are going to have to train them. You know, so that, you don't try to you don't try to analyze this and come up with solutions. Maybe a risk will be Windows Update. Huh. Or an Oracle update. Yeah. You know, those are the kind of things that, that can be risky, right? And then acceleration. And why the reason why I use acceleration, I use it for a purpose. I don't say I say, I want to know what things we could do to accelerate the team. You know, excel the team. You know, maybe you want to do some pair programming. And you ask them to come up with it, right? Maybe some automated tests. And my favorite, one of my developers years ago, they got tired of manually testing databases, right? So they wanted to do a uh, experiment, a, a, a spike for um, software to do automated database testing. Big auto DB testing. So basically, this is kind of what you do. And you just go around the room and say, okay, is there anything in here that we really want to work on next sprint? Maybe the guy, maybe the guy or girl says, oh, I want to do this database software thing. So you just circle it. Okay, is there anything else we want to watch out for or do next sprint? I mean, we talk about, you know, you go over, everybody's happy. These are things that went well. You don't really need to research these so much unless it's really, really important. Um, Maybe you said, uh, maybe I want to write out, maybe for risk, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write, someone circles this and takes the thing and says, I'm going to write a onboarding. Guide. And then you say, all right, we're done. Because you only want like one or two things to work in a sprint. So you pick one and two, right? So there's, that's it. That's what a, a retrospective is, and that's how fast it goes. I mean, you have more people in the room, so it'll take longer to get through everybody's thoughts on different things, and you ask for them to promote it. But there's my little sailboat, my little XR. I know the bigger sails in the front, but I like the smaller sail just to say, like, I might accelerate, right? And this is my boat. Dude, I go. That look good? Anyway, so that's how I do that one. Now, the other one I want to talk about, and again, I hope that went well. Now I'm going to erase it, right? This is live. I want to see how this new board works, right? This is all. I had a comment from one of the viewers about maybe doing some visuals. So we're going to try the visuals and just see what it looks like. I'm not going to do the visual all the time. Um, I also want to well, someday do podcasts, so it's going to be audited, so I'll have to describe that as I draw. I want to talk one more thing about... Um, agile and what agile does for an organization it exposes issues right so we're going to do the boat analogy so you got your your water level right so we got this big cup and we got this water and you got your little boat Ooh, maybe we'll make it our sailboat again right a little sailboats up there do 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 floating away okay problem is in every project in every situation there are maybe rocks sticking up. So there's there's obstacles, there's risks that no one planned for, right? And as you do scrum and agile and you do small increments, what happens is it gradually lowers the water level and starts exposing issues. So uh oh we we got to do this right so it exposes risk as the water level goes down and then let's see right and then the next sprint it goes even lower and it exposes issues 
right? And those are those risks on the retro, right? So as you go, it gets more and more exposure, right? You know why? And then you see more. The spikes really start coming out as you go and you further go along and, and deploy your stuff. And the reason why this happens is that in, in, a, in a Scrum and Agile perspective, we're re releasing working software all the time. So you're always coming up with new things that you hit. When you do a waterfall, you get to cover this all up with water because it's not until the end when you start releasing working software. You spend months writing requirements and BRDs, invest all this money and concepts and stuff. And until you actually start writing the code and start trying to penetrate all your firewalls and share your screens and go through security and, and, and um, stability issues and all the illities and all that kind of stuff, you won't see this. This might be, this is probably the firewall, right? This is security, this big one. Security is this big spike, right? Maybe this is the competition. Maybe this is competition because we took too long <laughs> to get stuff out there. Maybe this is a API that we never used. You know? Oh, we're just gonna we're gonna do all this planning and we're just gonna tap into the API for Google and we're gonna pull all the um, weather stuff or the mapping stuff into our system. We're gonna promote it, but we've never done it before. But it'll be easy because. It's just Google, and it'll just take a second. Yeah, right. That's that's probably huge right there, right? So anyway, so this is why Scrum and Agile work really, really well, because rather than in a waterfall, we're covering this all up, and you don't see it into last-minute testing. And we all know they take the testing time away. Every sprint, some new facet shows its little head, like this one popped up, right? And then the next release. Okay, this is my, my favorite one. So this is where the API, we tried the API. Uh-oh, we got an issue. We got to fix it. Uh-oh, firewall security. Hey, are you calling Google API from our system internally? You're not supposed to do that. We haven't cleared you to do that. See, this little head pops up, and it'll get bigger, right? And it goes, oh, wow, you want to do it that much? Well, we got to we got to whitelist it. We got to do all kinds of things. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger and so on and so forth, right? But you're touching it, right? So anyway, so that's one of the things about Agile and why it's better. And it exposes those risks and those unknowns because underneath the water, if you watch the Delaware River, I have to have pictures of it. I'll have to put that up where the water goes low and then you see the piling stick up from the old uh, docks. Well, if you're not paying attention, I saw in the mud the other day where someone rode their, their motorboat through one of these areas and you could see where the bottom of the motorboat just skidded. I should use, I should use that as a, as a picture. That would be perfect what we're talking about. Where the, there's a little actual mark in the mud in the bottom where their boat was hitting it. They didn't see it coming, but the water level because of the tide was coming down and they almost got stuck. So anyway, that's the beauty of Agile, right? So it's 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Hope everybody has a great day and you take care. Happy scrumming and enjoy it. I hope that works as an experiment on what we can do. I wanted to use a big enough whiteboard so that everybody can see it. Please like and subscribe our 5 a.m. Master Scrum and tell your friends about it and share. And maybe we'll do some more stuff in the future. All right, take care. Have a great day and enjoy. See you tomorrow.